This has got to be the worst thing that's happened to a car guy. I got a letter in the mail. And still, it's a letter you never ever want to see. If you're a car guy, you know what I'm talking about. This Mustang has hit a couple people in his life. I'm at Primal Dream headquarters. I'm gonna talk to the guys and see what they think is the worst thing that can happen. Question, what's the worst thing you can get in the mail if you're a car guy? Oh, a, ticket, a ticket, a speeding ticket. A ticket. Nope. Oh, messed up parts. Nope. The wrong part. Nope. What? what what's the answer? Nope. <laughs> the wrong part? Nope. A bad car? No. A, t a speeding ticket? A tra parking ticket? No. Oh. Uh, well, like it's a bad. If you're a car guy, it's bad. A messed up part? Did we already no, say that? Yeah, no, it's Wait, bad. Is it like a picture of you running a yellow light with a yellow light camera? <laughs> That's a good thing? one, but no. I don't know. What could it be? <laughs> Worst thing? Worst thing that you could get in the mail? Let me ask Mike. A Honda. Mr. Mike Ho. Where's the Mr. Mike Ho? Mr. Mike Ho. Tomiko. Yeah, you heard your okay. Tomiko. Questions for you two lovers. What's the worst thing you can get in the mail if you're a car guy? Yeah. What's the worst thing? You can get in the the mail? repo. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing with your bills, man? <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. A, a note saying that your license is suspended. Yeah, that's the worst thing you can't drive no. anymore. Because then you can't drive. Well, you yeah, drive. but that, that's the normal people though. But car guy specifically. Car guy specifically? Yeah. Now pass your smog. Hey! <laughs> Almost, but what is it? Smog check. Yeah, smog A uh, state ref. State ref letter? Yeah, smog check. Oh, for what car? For my smog Subaru. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Down. Wait, <laughs> hey, I know my, my tío knows somebody who. <laughs> <laughs> my tío. My tío knows someone straight up. Nice. So this is Mike's office, apparently. But they're working on some designs. Look at this. I like these. Okay. Hey, could you um, could you print up one of Evan's Christmas letters? Yes. This is David Patterson's December tuna crate. These are the stickers that come with it. They're just kind of pre-setting it for the uh, packaging over there. So I'm definitely being over dramatic with the smogging one, but my this car is not heavily modded, but when the GTR needs to be smogged, headache. Yes, there's many ways to kind of smog the car, other ways, you know people, people know people, but it's illegal and I'm not gonna encourage illegal activities. You guys wanna do whatever you guys want. I'm not gonna say anything. But the encouraging part with this Subaru specifically is it's not very heavily modified, so we should be okay. Good timing because, well, I don't wanna spoil everything right now. I'm currently in the talks to work on this car again. A couple companies, heavily modified parts, very loud, might blow up the motor, but if I smog it first, everything passes, I'll be good for another year and a half or two years, boom, I get to modify the car. That's the plan. A mountain of tuner crate. And this is like totally Dang. Can somebody show me the Evan Shanks, the sweater? Let me see that one. Let me see that. Oh, that's the Christmas one. Remember, I know I'm being more dramatic than I should be about this worst thing that can happen to a car guy, but you guys let me know what you guys think that's the worst thing that can happen to a car guy. Your car can be impounded, but you can always drive another car, but this is why I think getting a smog requirement, like you have to go get it certified and check, this is why I think it's the worst thing. Now let's really think about this. For a car guy, we mod our car. We freaking love it so much. And then all of a sudden, you know, you get a thing in the mail. And here's the thing. Most likely, most car guys, most average people have one car they modify and they daily drive. So if you've heavily modified your car, or even slightly modified in the sense it won't pass the mob, the likelihood of you needing to get a second car, slim, financials. And here's another reason, if you had to pass a smog, you're gonna have to unmodify your car. 
right? Unmo unmodify your project. Come on, man. I where's my gun at? But I already know you guys have a suggestion. You guys can always um know a guy that can um make the car magically pass smog. Technically. Technically. That's why I think it's one of the worst things that can happen to a car guy is when smog check comes around. And a lot of you guys I know in the comment section you're gonna say you live in a state that has no smog. Good for you. Really, really freaking great. Unfortunately, I live in California. So, for those of you who don't, do not live in California, what do you think? What do you think is the worst thing that can happen to a car guy? Speeding tickets and stuff, those can happen to normal people. So something specific to car people. So I guess in a few episodes, we'll see if this little bad boy right here will pass smog. I'll take it to a normal, real smog guy and see what happens. And if it doesn't, then we'll figure out something creative. I won't tell if you won't tell. I'm just kidding, guys. Thanks for watching, and it's time for me to head to the gym. Check me out on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Share the video, like the video. It helps a lot, and we're gonna grow the channel. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Big hugs. Peace out. Fist bump. Blah! Now I gotta pass the damn smog. Right, Subi? What do you think? Help me pass smog.